Okay? Hello, my name is James Hughes. I'm the clock. Hello, my name. Start again. Hello, my name is James Hughes. I'm the architect of cloud storage at Huawei. Huawei is very excited about being a member of Open Lab, where we're able to bring cutting edge technology that we've just created so that this product, before it's even released, can be tested and analyzed and improved by testing here at CERN. Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is James Hughes. I'm the architect of cloud storage at Huawei. At Huawei, we are extremely excited about being a member of Open Lab, able to bring this new and innovative product to Open Lab to have it tested in CERN's demanding environment. We believe that collaboration with CERN will make our products much better. At Huawei, we will have a team of engineers here for nine months working with the CERN team to be able to prove this product. Okay, 15, 20 seconds. Okay, uh, what should I say? Our equip uh, go, okay, okay. Our equipment uses innovative technology. Where we can get eight disk drives tightly packed in a single shelf. That's it. Yeah, maybe I'll break it. Come on. You want to be in the picture? Yeah. Get a picture with my friends. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Okay. Okay, just walk around. Get your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> I don't know. Oh uh, yeah. Should 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 we should we be dis be discussing the connectors here? <laughs> <laughs> Just act like we're talking to each other. That okay. way, that way, that way we can we can talk about this. Yes. Yeah. Talk about how the data goes from here up to here, here over to here, up to here, up to here, to here, and then off to here. Yeah. No, that's okay. Is it back up now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, your own picture. Come on. Where do you want me to look? Okay. CERN Open Lab is a public private partnership between CERN and leading IT companies. For CERN's interest, it brings forward leading technologies that are at the cutting edge and not yet on the open market. From the companies, the interest is they get access to CERN's expertise 
and a really grueling environment for their new products and services. As a result, it's likely that these products and services will be more productive, more reliable, better at scaling, and hence open to bigger markets. Super. C'est parti. CERN Open Lab is a public-private partnership between CERN and leading IT companies. It, I forgot what I was going to say now. C'est parti. Okay. CERN Open Lab is a public-private partnership between CERN and leading IT companies. For CERN, this brings in new cutting-edge technologies necessary for the LHC community. For the companies, it gives them access to CERN expertise and a very grueling environment where we push their technologies to the limit and help them be, be call, become more useful for larger and more diverse markets. The last one. CERN is a public... No, 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 CERN. CERN Open Lab is a public-private partnership between CERN and leading IT companies. For CERN's interests, this brings access to leading... No, no, it's not leading. Okay. Okay. It comes out, it comes out. No, it comes out. Okay. 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 CERN Open Lab is a public private partnership between CERN and leading IT companies. For CERN, this gives us access to the latest technologies, and for the companies, it gives them access to CERN's expertise and a grueling environment where we can really test their technologies to the limits. CERN Open Lab has been running for 10 years now with the same partners and adding in new companies as we go along. Why do they keep coming back? Well, because it's a win-win situation and we run it in three-year cycles. Every time we come back, we look for new technologies and we can look for new ways and new areas in which we can deploy those technologies. On va pas euh, converser. Non, mais apparemment, il faut que tu regardes dans cette... C'est parti. Il faut que tu regardes dans cette direction. C'est prêt Oui, c'est prêt. Tu peux t'en okay. tourner avant pour te mettre en quoi So, in Open Lab, we have uh, currently four competence centers. The competence centers were created at the end of phase one as we moved into phase two. We were um, um, trying to get um, a, an environment where, uh, with each partner, we would define the common goals and work together on um, the common solutions. So currently we have the Automation and Controls uh, Competence Center that is uh, involving Siemens. Then we have the Database Competence Center where we work uh, actively with Oracle. We have the Network Competence Center where we work with HP. Okay, just a So in um, Open Lab, we currently have um, our work divided in competence centers. So uh, after Open Lab 1, we decided that that was the right way for collaborating with our partners. So we created four centers. The first one is the Automation and Controls competence center where we work actively with Siemens. Then we have the um, uh, database competence center with Oracle. Then we have uh, also the um, uh, network competence center where we work actively with HP. And last but not least, we have the platform competence center where we work with uh, Intel. So for instance, in the platform competence center, Platforms um, is a reference to uh, server equipment, server platforms. So behind me you see some of the servers that are being used for uh, testing inside the Platform Competence Center. Recently we were joined by a contributor, which is Huawei. So now they have actually also filled up three of these racks with their equipment and we're actively testing together 
their solutions. So in Open Lab, we also have an educational angle. First of all, we have a summer student program. So every year we get about 15 students and we integrate them with the work in Open Lab, but we also integrate them with um, other IT activities in the lab. Um, this seems to be working very well and we're looking forward to the 2012 edition of the program. Then we also run workshops. So we have several work Okay, just repeat after. Um, then we also have uh, workshops. So Open Lab organizes um, several workshops a year. Um, for the time being, we have four regular workshops, but we also have uh, workshops that we organize on the fly according to demand. So this can be demand fr coming from inside, or it can be demand generated by new products or capabilities coming from our partners. Bon, oui. on la refait une fois. Mm. Comme ça on a un ah, backup. Mm. Oui, non, okay. c'est right. um, so in Open Lab we have a summer student program which we organize every year mm -hmm. and we typically have about 15 students that participate. They come from all over the world and we integrate them either into the work in Open Lab or in other IT activities in the lab. This seems to be working well. Um, they uh, are taken around CERN, so they get to see our facilities. We also take them to trip, trips outside. And we're looking forward to the contingent we're going to have in 2012. Just again. Just again, because the, the sun there was a cloud in front ah. of the sun. <laughs> so in Open Lab, we have a summer student program, which we run every year. We get about 15 participants from all over the world, and we integrate them into the Open Lab activities, but also in other IT activities in the lab. This seems to be going well. And where they are pleased to, to be part of our uh, program. We run lectures for them, for instance, but we also run um, internal visits to our facilities and we also do external trips together with them. So we're now looking forward to the 12, 2012 edition of the program. Great. Okay. Maybe you need to your phone. Yes, I need to. So what I wanted to ask you what you can, what can you, what are you filming? I mean, do you see everything around me? I see everything around. Okay, so I just need to put it away. Exactly. Okay. I can take it for you. No, no. Um, it's rolling. So when, whenever you want. Okay. Okay, so I need can you to. Look to Melissa. Okay. Like this? Is it fine? Yeah. Okay. My name is Andrzej Novak. I work as a staff researcher at CERN Open Lab at the Platform Competence Center. No, that was wrong. No, in fact, I should say, my name is Andrzej Novak. I work as a staff researcher at the Platform Competence Center of the CERN Open Lab. Okay? Then, okay. <coughs> Okay. 
Was that take okay? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm okay, just good. changing my uh, screen. <laughs> okay. I said I have some uh, keywords, so to speak. Okay, so I will, I will uh, give you um, um, I'll give you a short description of why it's useful to work at Open Lab, mm -hmm. and then I will tell, I will say several sentences about what I do, and that's it. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> okay. So working at Open Lab is a really great and unique opportunity because you get to work at the border between cutting edge engineering and science and you get a lot of variety in the job. Our work is also very interesting because we do we okay, I blew that. <coughs> Our work is also very interesting because we work on many projects that can have a direct and observable impact on both the partners and here at CERN. Okay, and then I will... Uh, uh, I, I, you are really perfect for that kind of thing. But that's a bad point because you are always asking you for everything. Sorry? You are very good at that. That's why we are always asking you for everything. But Thank you. That's the, the bad point for you because you are really <laughs> No, 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 I'm not. It's just about uh, saying the right things. That, that's fine. One of the main topics I work on is performance optimization. So we're trying to find ways with Intel to expose the power of modern computing platforms and to make them available to the programmer. This power is usually not apparent immediately when you look at the platform. However, th with the work done o at Open Lab, we can man Okay, this is wrong. Is it possible to cut out the first piece, like the first sentence? Okay. <coughs> The work we do is interesting for CERN because we can understand modern computing platforms better and we can take advantage of them better. And it's also interesting for Intel because Intel can put their products to good use in a really demanding environment that is not to be found elsewhere. Okay, and then the last thing would be... Um, I apologize that it's taking so long, but... No, 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 it's fine. Anyway, my did not come, so... <laughs> you is she coming? Uh, you don't know. She was I'm at two, so I think she will not Okay. The Platform Competence Center has also a very active teaching program. So apart from teaching at international computing schools with hands-on tutorials and lectures, we also hold programs of this kind at CERN. And we have so far trained hundreds of programmers at CERN and with very good results on both technologies that can allow them to take better advantage of modern computing, but also on technologies that relate di directly to the partners that we collaborate with. Okay, anything else that I should say? The work that we do at the Platform Competence Center is interesting for CERN because our experts can understand better how to efficiently utilize modern computing platforms. And it's also very useful for Intel because they can see how their products and upcoming products are behaving in the field. Anything else that I should add? Okay. Hey, uh, hello. <laughs> um, 
Hi, my name is Jiří Kunčar. Uh, I'm a uh, technical student, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, I studied, I studied in... No, okay. so start again. Yeah, but first yeah, I... Just to know what to say, yeah. So uh, me, my name is Jiří Kunčar, and from... I just Canada. need this reading device, you know. Ah, from there, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, I you, you are chatting with me. So my name is uh, Yeri, up at the end of the sentence, and then think for next one and so on. <coughs> it's fine. <laughs> Hi, my name is Yeri Kunchar. Uh, I studied uh, computer science in uh, Charles University at Prague. Um, uh, something. So much yeah. Fun. Uh, I've been a summer student in 2011. Um, we let the person. Yeah, it's. Uh, no, that's good. That's good. You're perfect. You name what you you where you studied. Uh, what would you say? You've been a summer student, and uh, what are you doing actually? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, what, what did you enjoy as being? Uh, why would you recommend to join? This program, or what was the good point in this program? I enjoyed working in this fascinating multicultural. Oh, uh, yeah, but. <laughs> 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 but it was nice meeting people from all around the world. Yeah, that kind of Great to take part in. Do this. do you want to take place in, instead of me? No, because no, I, no. I really don't have any idea. But you know, I'm a very good it's, you know, it's always in my in my head. But you know, when should say when I should say the whole sentence, it's like uh, blank. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but isn't it cut in parts then? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. So you can stop in the middle and then. Start yeah. 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 Maybe by part. I mean, uh, so maybe starting to say your na your name, where you come from, where you <coughs> studied. Maybe you stop. Then I enjoy this program, and then so we can cut like this. No okay. problem. I'm so you've done the first part already. So that's good. <laughs> uh. So I've been a summer student in 2011. I enjoyed the multi. <laughs> Think about it. Maybe we can. Yeah. Go, go along with Alexander. Yeah, it's, it's probably better if we I just. We can think about it. Yeah, That's fine. it's like. Maintenant, oui. D'accord. Hello, my name is Alexander. I come from France and I study computer science in Grenoble and Montreal. I was a summer student in 2010 and I recommence. Okay. Look, uh, okay. Look, okay. Okay, I'll do the first one, maybe? C'est mieux d'avoir plus, ouais. Oui, oui, tu peux la refaire. Ok. Hello, my name is Alexandre Bech. I come from France and I study computer science in Grenoble and Montreal. Ça, c'est fait. I was an open lab summer student in 2012 and 10. So I was an open lab summer student in 2010 and I really enjoyed this program. I work in the database department and I really enjoy as the technical thing and to live with 13 other nationalities with 15 other people. So, no, for your organism. It was great to, um, to be part of a group of 13 okay. ex people, 14 or 15 people 15 uh, with 13 nationalities. Yeah. Ok. Mais il faut essayer de dissocier travail et après le sketch. I was open up summer student in 2010 and I, wo I had worked in the database department. The thing I really enjoyed in this program was to be part of a group of 15 people from 13 different nationalities as well as the different lectures and visits we had during the summer. C'est bon? Ok? Yes. Non, c'est bon ou encore une fois oui, pour être sûr. D'accord. Il ne faut pas que tu sois forcé de toute ouais. façon. Donc euh... Ok, où est-ce que Hello Test Test, perfect. Ok. Je devrais regarder à toi, right Oui, exactement. Donc je ne vais pas regarder à toi, c'est que tu peux regarder à moi. Mon nom est Martin Helmich and I studied distributed scientific computing at Edinburgh University. I was a summer student in 2011 
and I worked on in the during this during this time I worked on the distribute what, what, what do I want to say I was a summer I was a summer student in 2011 and I worked in the data management group of the distrib no <laughs> All right. I was a summer student in 2011 and I worked in the data management group no I was a summer I was a summer student in 2011 and I worked on the data management systems for the worldwide LHC computing grid um, I enjoyed very much my time in Switzerland during the summer. The Open Lab Summer Student Program is a very good opportunity to spend your time in the summer with nice people from all around the world in a beautiful countryside. Um, I combined my Open Lab Summer Project with my Master Thesis. Um, I enjoyed very much to be part of this large experiment going on at CERN. I enjoyed very much being part of the large experiment going on at CERN. Uh, something else? If you want to, it's up to you. Um, the the program extended the knowledge I gained during my studies in a very good way. No, maybe other way. Um, I liked it a lot. Thanks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One, one. Uh, uh, the the Open Lab team supported our summer students in every way possible. My name is Jiří Kunčar. Can you stay here exactly like this? Not. <laughs> Not really. Because if you go too much on the yeah. on your left, I cannot see you anymore. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jiří Kunčar. Uh, <coughs> Hi, my name is Jiří Kunčar. I studied at, at computer science at Charles University in Prague. I have been part of summer student program in 2011. It was a great opportunity to meet. Uh, it was a great opportunity to meet uh, a lot of. Uh, it was a great opportunity to meet other students from all around the world. I felt really like. Fun <coughs> I work on. <coughs> I worked on Invenia Digital Library. I've enjoyed meeting students coming from all over the world. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure um, you can read what it. Do I have? It's okay. <clears throat> I think it was okay. Uh, I work on dig in Vineo Digital Library. I think it was a great, great opportunity to improve my programming skills and also I learned a lot of new things in uh, open lab lectures. So I'll start again. Like, it was a great opportunity to meet other students from all around the board. Uh, I work in, in, in Vineo Digital Library. It uh, gave me... 
I work in in Vino Digital Library. I think it gave me a, a lot of well, no. This is such, such a waste of time. It's not very nice to say. I think it's no, not it's not a it wasn't a waste of time, but this is a waste of time. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'll try again this. <laughs> oh. mm. the summer stu summer program is not only about work and, and learning but you will have a lot of opportunity to travel and uh, see interesting places it was perfect and we have enough I think Ah, but yeah. pro <laughs> probably not useful one. Um, I'm not sure if if you have some some sentence I can say. Uh, I really don't know. Um, no, speaking about the, the programming skills that you've been improving working on the new yeah. digital library with good, you've been speaking about uh, the lectures. Uh, you've spoken about uh, people coming from all over the world. There were already many things. You yeah. do not realize that it's, uh, I think I had a very good time. Yeah. It's